All right, so uh, it's the fall. New crop of vegetables coming out. We went to the uh, farmer's market today and found some garlic and onions, and it's time to stock up on some smoked garlic and onions. I like to do this. Uh, you can use these in, in anything you use onions or garlic for. It's just going to add a little hint of smoke to it. It's going to roast them up. Um, it's going to be really awesome. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to prepare the garlic first off. And we're going to start pretty much they're just whole uh, garlics that we picked up. <coughs> and uh, there's three ways, main ways to do this. I mean, you can throw it on just like that and smoke it. Uh, smoke's going to get in there, but it will stick a lot on the pills. So first way we're going to do it is I'm going to take and bust this apart and to just have the cloves with skin still on them. And I've got some of them in this bowl already. Uh, everybody should know how to bust open that. I don't think I need to show you how to do that. So these still have the skin on them. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to kind of just push it out once they're, once they're cooked and smoked. And then one step further from that, and we did some of these um, yesterday, and they turned out really awesome, and they're like candy if you're a garlic lover. Because I actually just peeled the peelings off there, so they're just peeled garlic cloves. You can either do them fresh, you can get the ones out of the jar. It's already done for you. I like to peel these. Um, I put on a sport that doesn't require you watching to pay attention, and like golf or something, and then I just sit and peel the garlic. It, I love it. It's a good smell. This is uh, sweet stuff. Anyway, so those are those are peeled. And uh, second way is we're just gonna cut off the tips. This is the the root end and the the tip end. So what we're gonna do? I'll show you how to do that. That's pretty quick. Um, essentially, I, I try to find the best ones that are um, pretty much round. You want to cut down into here. Where you see the tops of the uh, of the garlic cloves, a little saw in motion with the serrated blade, and you can see those just those come right off there. You do waste a little bit in doing this, which I'm not real fond of, but um, anyway, I'll give this a try. Let's cut this one here too. Well, that one's got a bad one. In it. That's nice. Anyway, we'll get rid of that. That's uh, how we prepare the garlic. All right, so uh, I already peeled a couple of onions. These are just yellow onions. Uh, they're sweet. Um, I'm not again. I'm not going to bother on how to peel an onion. What I did, however, though, is in the tops of them, I did scoop out make an indent. This is going to be, you'll see, we're going to put some oil and stuff in here and and uh, that's just going to help hold the oil while it has a chance to seep down into the rings as it smokes. Um, this one we're going to do another way is I'm going to take it and I'm just going to cut it in half top to bottom. Point the stem. So there's a stem. Uh, beautiful red onion. Now that's going to have a hard time dancing around in there, so I'm going to take right on the bottom and just take a little chunk out of that, that layer so it's going to set, set up and, and uh, be good there on the smoker and keep all the juices inside of it. So, got the, the onion, and we'll do the brush on some olive oil here, and then we'll set those in there next to it. Um, now you can throw these on the smoker like this. I actually like to do them inside of a tin foil just to keep uh, the mess down. So I'm gonna take take all this goodness here, the the garlics we got, and the onions we got, and uh, I'm gonna put them in their tin foils and go turn on my smoker and get it hot, and then we'll uh, throw them on and get them going. All right, we're going to start with these uh, whole whole uh, garlics first. And so what I what I like to do is I like to bring in a paper plate about the size of what they're going to be and a sheet of tin foil. Like I said, this is going to keep keep the oil mess down, 
not cause flare-ups and stuff in your smoker if you're using a real fire like I do in my Traeger with the wood pellets or or if you're on a regular grill or whatever you're using to smoke with. <clears throat> so anyway, I take this, I'm going to put the, the four in here, right in the center. I'm going to do these together. Um, when they're in the smoker, they're going to sit with the lid open like this. And then after I smoke the while, I'm going to close them up and let them uh, kind of cook in their own steams and stuff. But um, we're going to add a little, little olive oil here. We're just going to pour it right on top. And this is why I use that uh, that foil. It's just we're gonna have a little bit of a mess. And that's okay. There's foil under there. Well, there's the oil. I'm gonna hit them with a little uh, sea salt, just because I like salt, and just to. Add a little color, we're gonna hit a little pepper on top. So that's how we're gonna prepare the whole cloves. And uh, next time we'll see those, it'll be on the smoker. Now let's go to uh, the peeled and uh, garlic cloves with pills. Okay, we're gonna start here. We have the peeled garlic. Essentially, I've uh, taken the garlic cloves, peeled them, cut the root end off. And uh, notice the difference between that and the unpeeled cloves is that I've left a point sticking out on those with the, the skin on it. So essentially the same method for both. I'm going to show you on this method. Um, same thing I did with the whole cloves. I'm going to take the paper plate and make a, make a dish out of it. And I put these in here. It's a little bit easier. Not to worry about flat spotting anything. I'm gonna hit it with the uh, olive oil. Be kind of generous with it. And we're gonna mix that around. Make sure everybody's covered. Spread them out. Now, as the smoke comes up around this foil, it's gonna it's going to get in there all stirred a couple of times when it's out there just to get it all the way around. And once I think I've got it smoked long enough, it's usually about an hour or so, then I'm going to close it up and just let it uh, cook its way down to where they're just, just tender and, and squishy and, and, and yummy. So got that there. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of salt again. To your desire, I love salt so everything gets salt and pepper just to show that I've been in here doing something. So there's our peeled garlics and here are our cloves that have not been peeled and you can see they have little tails on them. The only difference is these will be a little squishier. Those you can just pop in your mouth and eat when they're done. Just like candy. Okay so we'll cut away from that and get right back into some onion prep. Okay, so here we are with our onions. Like I say, this one, I, I hollowed out the top here. And uh, I kind of decided to do the same thing with this one that I'd cut cut in half, just enough to, to hold the uh, the oil while it's sitting in there. I'm just gonna show you how to do the two. I um, actually got four onions, but uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see them show up a little later. We'll just do the two right now. So essentially the same method. Uh, grab my plate. that in there again just to be clean and put that in the center and fill him up with olive oil make sure it gets all over the sides and as it cooks that thing that's going to seep down in there a little salt a little pepper and this one I'm actually going to Bring the sides up a little bit. It's going to tip over, guaranteed. Set that one there. I'll go ahead and get the get 
this out. We're gonna pop this in here. Do these two together. I'll say the same thing. Drizzle with the oil. And you can add anything else you want. I like salt and pepper. You can seasoning salts or thyme or sage or rosemary. Anything you want to enhance that with. I use these. I'm going to throw these in some salads. We're going to use them on burgers. We're going to use them as garnish on hot dogs. We're going to make uh, garlic toast out of the garlic. Um, I'm going to eat a whole bunch of them raw. Or not raw, but roasted. Cloves and... There's a great little pizza place in Alaska that puts those roasted cloves, smoked cloves on pizza. And it's just fantastic. And uh, Anyways, that's what we're going to do with it. Um, we're going to take these out. We're going to get them on the smoker and get them going. It's Like I say, it's going to be about an hour today. We're about 80 degrees ambient temperature out there. And that should bring us on with a good smoke. All right, so here we go. We're out, got the smoker going. Um, of course, I use a trigger. Um, this thing's about four years old. It's starting to show its wear. It's well seasoned, as my wife reminds me every time I shoot a video. But hey, seasoning's where it's at when you're doing outdoor cooking. So we got it cranked up today. We're just gonna go on smoke mode. It's like we're gonna be at about 170 degrees. And I've gone ahead and just put these in here. As you can see, there's the whole cloves the uh, peeled, the uh, cloves with the peel, red onion, and the other two onions. This one, we add a little, little dill to it, just to spice it up a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna let this go an hour today. Uh, 80, 85 degrees outside, uh, beautiful uh, summer evening. And uh, we're just gonna let this smoke. And I'll come out here in a little bit just to kind of take another film about halfway through and then uh, we'll go to that point. Oh, it's a beautiful sight. Smoke blowing out of the trigger in front of the camper. <coughs> anyway, here we are. Half hour. As you can see, oil's receding. Smoking nicely. The heat's staying there. We'll be right back. Okay, so an hour and a half went by. Let's go ahead and check and see what our progress is doing. And wow, yeah, we're, we're right there. Looking super good. I kind of closed them up a little bit. Paint some heat. Um, we've got a little bit of squishing going on with the, the garlics. And they're, uh, they're proven to be just, just, just about perfect. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away off there. Okay, so here we are done. I've taken them off the Traeger, brought them in the house. As you can see on these, these were the peeled garlics. And they are just, just tender and uh, roasted perfectly. Um, come over here, this one's the garlics that are in the, uh, the cloves that still have the skin. They're done up too. And then the onions and the, uh, the whole cloves. These will just pop right out. You can see they they'll just come they'll come right out if you if you squeeze them they'll pop right out just like a, just like they're supposed to. You go ahead and grab a, uh, a plate here. There's one of those. Here's one that was cooked without the uh, skin, and here's one with the skin. You see, you give a little push and and, and it pops right out. And, so now it's just a matter of mincing them or smashing them. You can see they all smash up just about the same. It depends on what you like and how you like it. So we're going to take that and that's that's where we're going to leave it right now. 
I'm gonna add another video to this probably with a, a pop-up where you can click on it. it's gonna show you how to make some garlic spread to put on some uh, some uh, French bread kind of like the ones you've seen on the Traeger today so we'll cut away with that good smoking um, have any questions pop them on there I'll answer them and if you like what I'm doing then you can subscribe to the channel thanks for watching